vagina will shrink after not having sex for a long time. True or false? So, true? No, it's false. Yeah. Recently, I did a video with a content creator, a short clip, and she asked me how long has it been for me being out of a relationship and i told her how long and she was like ah oh, that long and she went ahead to ask me that what do i do whenever i get honey at first she didn't want to mention it but i helped her like you mean what do i do when i get excited yeah. are you in a relationship no not what do you cook with <laughs> how do i say what and she said yes I explained to her that it's mind over matter. Mind over matter. Matter is physical. So my mind over the physical desire. Four things that abstinence has taught me. It's been three and a half years. And I've said this before in one of my videos. It's still one of the best gifts that I've given myself. And I will never not say that. Self control secondly emotional regulation third thing patience lastly self-worth there's actually scientifically been proven that men fall in love through a hormone called vasopressin and women fall in love through oxytocin and oxytocin is released in a woman when we're having sexual intercourse or we're close with them cuddling very intimate guess when vasopressin is released for men when they're stressed so essentially oh, oh my god the more you stress your man out the more he's gonna fall in love with you let me tell you something about sex that they don't teach you in school of course not especially for women when you have sex with someone it's very easy for you to start feeling like you're falling in love but it's not love <laughs> It's something called oxytocin. The longer a woman remains celibate, the idea of someone touching her who doesn't meet her mental, spiritual, or physical needs makes her feel sick. This happens because she values herself more and knows what she truly deserves. I'm here to talk about how it is being out of relationship or being away from relationship like how it feels okay it is not easy trust me it is not easy mind over matter works i have talked about um harnessing the energy and using it i've talked about so many things that you can use your sexual energy for but what i'm here to talk about is the truth about being away from relationship especially when you have actually started dating and you know how it feels it actually feels good that's when you're in the right relationship that you have been treated well it feels good how it feels you know being away from relationship you know if there is side effect because i also see people ask what happens when you start having sex like is there something that happens to you you know so people think that you become a virgin again oh my god <laughs> and i hear men say things like that please will just grow cobwebs and th that's disgusting please so you want some okay stop talking about some disgusting shit. <laughs> god have mercy upon us but you know that it's not real but anyways let's talk about this thing because it's something that i'm experiencing let's do it mind over matter works um if your body gets excited women you know there are some certain times that the body gets excited especially when you are ovulating and then after your period like few days after your period your body get really excited it happens even during your period i have seen women talk about how during their period that is when they are they are more honeyest like they get more honey and yes i have had women actually have sex on their period because that is when they really get honey so there are some certain times that women body gets more excited than it is on a normal day so on a normal day if you are somebody that gets excited maybe 20 percent 30 percent of the time during your ovulation or a few days after your period the body gets more excited and like i said the mind over matter thing it works okay you can if you're somebody that have gotten to the point where you're able to discipline yourself where you're able to control yourself you you'll be able to do the mind over matter whenever you get the urge you just you know think about something else focus that energy on something else and of course the excitement will die off when the energy has been redirected into doing something else okay it works especially to those that are able to control their mind you know their thoughts you can redirect it 
but then it gets to a point where especially if you're somebody that already knows how it feels to have sex you've enjoyed the process of having sex you've enjoyed the act the act a r t the act a c t of having sex that's the action if you're somebody that enjoyed the process now staying away from it staying away from having your partner you know if you're somebody that already enjoyed what it feels like in being in a relationship with a partner you know apart from the sex aspect the other aspect communication the you know there's this attraction the you know emotional dependence you know it's something is sweet it's something that i wouldn't i wouldn't come here and say it is not a beautiful thing to experience it is a beautiful to, it it is something beautiful to experience okay and if you have enjoyed that and now you have decided to um for one reason just be in the era where you're not in a relationship you're not having sex it's not going to be easy because there will come a time where the mind over matter wouldn't work and if you're not able to control it you can you know touch yourself I know that a lot of women do that a lot of women touch themselves men like to i think that they are the one that touch themselves more but i've had female friends like i've had a lot of female friends that talk about how many times they masturbate in a day and that's back then in my university days you know you were hearing girls say five times a day mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and you're like wow and other girls are not shocked they'll be like ah because it's a normal thing like girls tend to do that it's it's easier because they know how to satisfy their body unlike when they are with their partner <laughs> i don't want peace i want problems always uh okay anyways you're going to resort into either doing that which is touching yourself or you're going to get to a point where you're not start feeling like oh you need to find yourself a partner to release this crave this um the urge to you know come and for me i got to a point where i was like okay i was trying to reconsider and go back to dating but then meeting somebody made me realize that i wasn't ready for dating <laughs> i met somebody that made me stand firm on my decision not to be in a relationship i met somebody that i taught this particular person understand what i was trying to do in my journey and instead in the few period i knew the person it was like that person especially when i already know that most times we attract what we need to learn in life so everything that the person was doing was just like vivian you're actually not ready to be in a relationship because you need to heal from this aspect of yourself you need to heal so the person was constantly showing me where i was traumatized to get and i just reconsidered you know going into the relationship because i got to the point where i just needed to be with someone that's why i said it's not easy you get to the point where you need to be with someone like you will need it your body will be needing it your mind will be needing it you will be needing that you know you want to be torch kiss if you're passionate if, if you're somebody that likes to do that you need it like your body will be needing it it will be something that will always constantly be on your mind especially when the environment that you're living in is showing you these things like you go out you see people in tools you watch tv you see families you, you know all those things we it, these are ways to trigger you to want you know to have someone to have a partner you get and once you're not able to control it you want to go back you know on your decision of being single and what i'm going to advise you is that whatever reason made you start the journey of being this single make sure that you get to the end of the journey before you start allowing somebody into your personal space because for you to decide not to want to date people for you to decide not to want to have sex there wants to be a reason i did not wake up one morning and say oh, oh i don't want to have sex no i'm a lover of sex i'm a lover of sex so want to not have it is not something i thought i would want ever even as i'm talking to you i don't think i want it but i'm doing it 
or my own good my own benefits so whatever it is that got you to the point where you decided to go on a journey where you're not dating whenever you get to the point where your body's starting needing it your mind is constantly telling you that you need it please i want to i want you to remind yourself why you started the journey and ask yourself if you've gotten to the end of why you went on the journey ask yourself that question okay because that is what i do i constantly ask myself and again it's your journey it's up to you to decide what you want to use your energy for so if your mind did not get over the matter please get under somebody's matter <laughs> get under somebody's matter if you are the guy get reading get read let them ride you let somebody's matter ride you okay but uh, yeah if you're a girl write somebody's son or write somebody's daughter whatever it is that you're practicing your mind doesn't get over the matter get under the matter okay <laughs> we are all here for the experience of this particular thing so experiences enjoy it at your decision but anyway that's it okay that's what i wanted i wanted to say i wanted to say that it's not easy so don't always see people that come on here probably youtube wherever you see them talk about oh being celibate being abstinence being this this don't think it is always easy for them don't think these people are taking like the easy way out no there's a reason why people decide to go on this journey there's a reason why i decide to go on this journey and i've been seeing the benefits decentering myself from men decentering myself from sex decentering myself from a lot of things helped me connect to myself like helped me know myself the more so I am doing this because I want to reconnect with myself or connect with myself because I don't think I was ever connected with myself. So I want to connect with myself. I want to see the beauty in me without uh, these external things. Okay, without being in a relationship, who am I? Without having sex, who am I? Without, you know, like money, without these things. You know, like without money was a choice. <laughs> that wasn't a choice. I, I already exist without money. Which is going to change i just wanted to know who i i am without these external things and that's why i went on a journey of no sex no relationship no and until i get to the point where i'm like okay i know this girl now and this is who she is then i go into a relationship but if i don't get to that point so be it right now i feel like i am even more at the high height or highest point of my sexual states like being more connected to myself has even made me understand myself sexually which is something i did not understand back then where i was centered around sex money um centered around men you know relationships centered around these things i did not know my sexuality and now that i have been able to connect to myself or still connect to myself i'm able to understand my sexuality i'm able to understand i i feel like i am at the highest point of my turn on and this thing is going to keep increasing the more i know myself the more i get to understand myself the more you know my sexuality or my sexual desire increases because the confidence in myself grows and you know when you have positive confidence about yourself that increasing that increases your sexual desire increases your sexual urge in life your creative urge your sexual energy so i personally i feel like decentering these things you know is creating a version of myself that i love now like a version that understands what sex really is like the weight or the yes let me say the weight makes the the desire more desirable i don't know if you get now that i know so much about myself my body now that i have this particular connection with my body there is an aspect of me that knows that the next time i have sex is going to be like the fucking best ever that i've ever had in my life the next time i'm going to have sex the next time i'm going to be intimate with somebody is going to be different and it's going to be something that, that i have never experienced because my body has gotten to a particular stage where it knows what it wants like my body has gotten to a stage where emotionally it knows what it wants physically it knows what it wants 
you know and i wasn't this person before and i was having good sex now now that i know what i want i'm going to be having like the best sex okay so the next time i'm going to have sex now you see why i cannot even jeopardize it i can wait for that amazing you know time but before then that's how i've been dealing with my audience okay mind over matter and always trying to remind myself why i started this in the whole place so yeah in case you're somebody that has been on this journey of not being in a relationship or you just want to start it is not easy it is not easy especially when you're already enjoying it before you go to the decision that you want to take a break it is not easy but guess what this is what it especially when you especially 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 when you know why you are doing what you're doing okay wait until you get results and trust me <laughs> It's gonna be worth it. I'll be seeing you guys on my next one. Bye.